What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel Life Bonsai. Today we have this Nandina Domestica and uh, this is a challenge uh, budget bonsai. Now this Nandina, it's really nice. It's got that side sweep you would say style uh, but it looks the bark already looks pretty old it's got old bark right here and i love that root system i love that root system right now it's um still pretty much towards the end of winter yeah but you'll find a lot of good deals on things like this so this nandina i got this one for 15 dollars which is not bad at all uh, the size of the pot is i think it's like three gallon or so um, but I also was able to find this pot. This is not the prettiest pot, of course. There's like some. I was able. I wasn't able to take off those white things, but um, might be able to use some type of alcohol or something. We'll see. But the goal is to put it in this pot. We're gonna keep the same style of that side sweep. Uh, we'll see if we can do a little bit of trimming and styling. But since I'll be pruning some of the roots I don't really want to use too much so let's go ahead and start this challenge total overall uh, $15 and then this one was I believe um, like $20 so that was like $35 in total which is not bad at all that was really really good deal uh, not bad at all so let's get started I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of the container and I'm gonna start doing some root pruning a little bit of root pruning just enough to be able to fit it into this but um, I already checked the roots and it looks like those roots go just to like right here maybe a little bit of almond but it won't be too much root pruning because we're going to expand them as well to be able to fit them in this spot so let's go ahead and get started all right so the first thing you want to do you want to have something to hold that soil you don't want to make a mess you know it's going to be all over the place but absolutely um also a little scratcher just to get that soil off but yeah you would definitely want to just press down on the sides of the pot just to loosen up the soil sometimes you know the soil can be just real real uh, tight in there it's really hard to take out so it's going to make it easier for you to take out the plant out of the pot especially if the plant has been there you know for a good while that soil is going to be really compact and it's going to be hard to take off so i'm gonna work on this uh, taking it out definitely want to take your time with this you don't want to cause any damage to the roots as you are doing this procedure right here gotta be careful and yeah so i got mine off and since this is kind of like a slanted style uh, for mine it's not really like a straight root it's a little easier for me to break those roots so i was just being real careful just to make sure that i don't mess up with any of this and the next thing that we want to do we want to remove that soil uh, i was surprised with this one the soil is really loose so it was easier for me to remove the soil from the roots and you definitely want to take off as much as you can because you want to use new soil fresh new soil um, we might do a little root a little root pruning but for now let's just scrape that soil off gonna be real careful gotta be real careful you just don't want to be janking those roots you want to be careful uh, take your time little by little you'll make it happen it's pretty relaxing sometimes you know just working on these trees just taking out those roots but this is the goal Okay, so I was able to remove some of that as you as you can see it looks way smaller and I haven't done any root pruning at all This is just by me taking some soil off uh, It did take me about 20 minutes and a little mess, but uh, just by Slowly gently I was also using my fingers just to sc scrub off some of the soil Like I said for me, it was a little easier because this one was pretty pretty soft soil It wasn't really all compacted so it made it so much easier I'm gonna do a little bit of root pruning, but first I want to remove as much of the soil that I want or that I can, uh, just to make sure that I don't do much of the root pruning in here. So definitely, uh, this is gonna help a lot. Um, also, another thing that you want to make sure is that you don't want to do this just at any time. You know, you definitely want to make sure that you know the best time. Uh, right now is almost the end of winter, uh, which is ideal for most of the trees 
except for tropicals, but that's what you want to do. Now, you also want to check the size of your roots and the container that you're placing your tree on. You don't want to do too much pruning. As you can see, mine is almost right there. So only the ones that are hanging are the ones that I'll be uh, pruning off this tree. So I'm not going to be doing too much pruning uh, because again, this might kill your tree if you do a lot of pruning on your roots. So you got to be careful with that. But yeah, I'm just uh, the way that I'm going to do it right now, uh, I'm just going to remove these ones that are hanging. Um, Apart from the top ones, I don't really want to take any of those off. Just pretty much the ones that are hanging. And possibly, maybe just a little bit more soil if I'm able to. But yeah, these are my, my uh, root pruning shears. You want to be gentle. Uh, just start pruning them. So let's get started. Alrighty, so the next thing, you just want to leave the tree to the side uh, for now. But what I'll be doing here, I'll be prepping my pot. Before I add the tree or put the tree inside of the pot, I want to make sure that I add some drainage mesh or plastic or anything like that. I got this one off Amazon. So they're just going to be covering those holes on the pot. This is going to help with keeping the soil in because, you know, once you put the soil, you don't want that to be just coming off uh, every time you water it or just you know losing all that soil with time so you definitely want to make sure that you add those you want to use some wire to be able to attach those at the bottom so just put them inside and then Now, once you have the, uh, the mesh inside, you also want to do additional wire. And this is to wire the tree to the pot. Sometimes with the wind or, you know, storm, anything like that is going to knock out the tree out. So definitely you want to make sure that it is tied in to the pot so it can be stronger. Um, because once the pot, the tree is in the pot and you do root pruning, if it moves a lot with wind and stuff like that, that's going to damage those new roots. They're going to be pretty fragile, so you definitely want to make sure that you wire the tree to the pot. So what you want to do, you want to cut sizes that are similar. And you want to stick it through the bottom of the pot and over to the same mesh that you added. So once you have that in there, you want to do the same thing with both sides. You can have more than that, but usually people just add two on each side just to make sure that you tie the tree down from both sides so i'll show you how that's done So we have our pot ready. Now we're just gonna add the soil and place the tree inside. Alrighty, so we got the pot here. It's prepped and I have my soil. You wanna use bonsai soil. Um, I got this off Amazon for like four bucks. So that's not bad at all. But absolutely, you wanna make sure that you add some soil at the bottom first. You don't wanna use regular soil because your tree has already been root pruned. So if you use regular potting soil, it's gonna it's not going to let those roots grow freely. So this is what I'm using right now. Some Akadama and Lava. And that's going to help those roots get better aeration. And it's going to grow so much better and healthier as well. And it's also going to be easier for those new roots to start growing without any restrictions. So let's go ahead and add them. Alright. And the next thing is to place the tree in the pot. You want to make sure that you kind of gently... You know, squeeze it down a little bit just to settle it down in the soil. And then you want to tie down the tree. You want to use each corner with each corner. 
just kind of like twist it a little bit on the wire. As you can see, mine is already tied in. And it's, it's more secured in. Again, this is going to help with, with those roots growing healthy. So it's not going to be moving and you know, just, you know, breaking those roots. And the next thing is just to fill up the container with the soil. So getting a bit closer to the tree now, um, this is pretty much looking really nice. I really like it. I love those roots. It's just, it's natural. I mean, I, nothing was used to, you know, make that band or anything like that. This is just natural. And that's what you want to look on the bonsai. Natural things, you know, that make it look nice. So I'm going to do a little bit of pruning because I put some of those roots. So take this off. Uh, the reason why I want to do some pruning, of course, other than the style. Uh, the roots, we reduced them a little bit. So all this foliage, it's got to be in pair with the roots. So if we did some trimming on the roots, the roots won't be able to have enough energy and, you know, we might have some wilting or dying leaves and stuff like that. So, or dying branches too. So we want to make sure that the roots match the foliage. So I'm going to do a little bit of pruning here and that's also going to give us a better shape. So I'm just going to up some of them. last thing that we want to do of course we want to water make sure that we water it through already so this is the finished product I added a rock at the bottom for some support on the trunk but it's off to a great start honestly it's, it came out pretty good better than I expected quick spin around Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, share, please like the video. You have a great day.